Welcome back to Horror Recaps. Today, I will be showing you a horror slash thriller film from 2019 titled The Hole in the Ground. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. The movie starts with a girl motionlessly staring at the camera. Her eyes are not even blinking. There is a little boy playing with a mirror making funny faces alongside her. She looks at him and smiles gently. She then goes by him and starts playing with him making funny faces. The girl and the little boy enjoy cotton candies and they both get into a car parked in an empty parking lot. They drive through the woods. The road cuts straight through the dense forest. The little boy, Chris, is Sarah's son. During their drive, he asks her if he can drive a bicycle. She refuses and offers to do so the next year. Chris talks about his classmate and mocks him. Suddenly, he yells, Mom, look out. The car goes out of control and his mom hits the brake hard. She gets out of the car and asks a strange person standing in the middle of the road if he is okay. There is a broken side mirror from the car on the floor. The bizarre looking person has a hood on with an unusual face. He looks frightening. She picks up the mirror and leaves in a hurry. They reach their house. Chris is playing with his toy figure while Sarah scrapes off old wallpapers from the wall. All of a sudden, they both count from three to one and make a weird face. When Sarah is in the basement, Chris yells and calls for her. She rushes to him. He is standing on the chair and pointing at something. It's a spider. Sarah traps it in a mason jar and takes it outside. Chris then says that his dad would kill it for him. She replies by saying she is not his dad. The boy seems upset to have moved to a new place without his dad. He crushes the spider under his foot. The mother gets upset too. Chris starts running towards the forest. Sarah follows him. She shouts his name while sprinting through the woods. The place is windy. She sees a large hole in the middle of the forest just in front of where she is standing. Chris appears behind her. She yells at him to never run off at her again. He tells her that he knows his dad makes her sad. They hug each other when Chris asks about the giant hole. She tells him it's nothing and they return home. Sarah is dropping Chris at school. She talks about settling and living happily in this new place. Sarah is having dinner with a few people. They talk about their profession. Then they talk about an incident involving a strange guy who was hit by the car of a man attending the same dinner. Another woman suggests that person sounds a lot like an old lady who murdered her kid. Sarah insists on going on with the story about the woman. She tells that woman was Noreen Brady whose son James was in her class where she teaches. The woman one day came bursting into the classroom and it took three people to drag her out of school and later she was arrested. Sarah shows pity over the poor woman. Sarah is wide awake in the middle of the night. It's breezy outside. She hears a thud and calls Chris. She goes downstairs to look for Chris. There is a door open. She goes outside. It's windy. She goes towards the woods with a flashlight in her hand. It's dark. She stumbles upon a tree and gasps with fear. She realizes that her son might be missing. She then sprints back to her house. She contacts the emergency room saying that her son is missing but becomes startled when Chris calls her. She asks him where he had been and he says he was there all the time. The next day a doctor visits Sarah. The doctor asks to see the scar on her forehead which she tells was from an accident about a year ago. The doctor then prescribes her some medications. Sarah calls Chris for food. She searches for him upstairs but sees that Chris is already at the dinner table. She gets surprised to see him. One morning, Chris is sitting on the side of the bed while Sarah sleeps. He has flowers in his hand. When Sarah wakes up, she asks where he got those from. He replies he got them from the garden but Sarah advises him not to go outside. Sarah and Chris are driving when she asks him about his friends. After some time, they see a woman walking slowly in the middle of the road. The woman suddenly turns back and starts walking towards the car. Sarah honks the horn and gets out of the car. She asks the woman to move off the road. The woman is Mrs. Brady and she is whispering gibberish. She speaks and says, it's not your boy. Then an old man with a long white beard comes to get her. When Sarah is talking to the old man, he asks for her son's name. The strange woman gets by Sarah's car and bangs her head to the car's window yelling he is not your son multiple times as Sarah and Chris drive off. The next morning Sarah stops at Mrs. Brady's old house. Sarah sees a body with its head buried in the ground. The body is of Mrs. Brady. She is shocked to see her die in such a wild manner. Detectives want to talk to Sarah and track her down as she was the one to see the dead body first. As Sarah is talking to a detective, she gets lost watching her son play arm wrestling with another guy. Sarah sees blood in the towel when she comes out of the bathroom the next day. She feels her forehead and notices that it's bleeding. Sarah goes to her work. It's an antique shop. 
The woman there asks her if she is feeling okay and questions about the dead body but immediately asks for forgiveness. Sarah asks her a strange question about if someone can be unknown about their son's true identity. Later that day, Sarah visits the house of Mr. and Mrs. Brady. She goes by the coffin when Mr. Brady calls her by her name. She portrays grief for his loss. Mr. Brady talks about his dead son. He apologizes for Mrs. Brady's behavior that day saying she didn't mean any harm to Chris. Mr. Brady brings forth a surprisingly abnormal idea of their son being an imposter. He kisses his dead wife's hand and leaves, thanking Sarah for coming. In the evening, Sarah jogs through the woods. She stops when she sees a toy figure on the ground. She is terrified to notice that it is Chris's toy. She walks slowly towards the giant sinkhole in the middle of the dense forest. She gently sits near the edge of the hole. The hole is moving slowly. At dinner, Chris is slurping noodles in a haste. Sarah asks Chris if he is going to the forest as of late. Chris says no. She asks him again, showing him the toy figure she found in the forest. He says no again. She keeps on asking and yells at him to stop lying to her. Chris in great anger pushes the dining table towards Sarah. Sarah is shocked to see that. Chris asks for an apology from her and leaves. Sarah finishes her night bath when she hears noises from Chris's room. She peeks at Chris's room by gently bending and looking through the opening at the bottom of the door. Chris is chasing insects and running around the room, crushing them with his hand. He eats those insects. Chris suspects Sarah watching him and comes calling for her. Sarah runs towards her room and Anne tells him she is in her room. Chris then wishes her good night and returns to his room. The next morning a doctor arrives for Chris's checkup. Sarah tells the doctor that something is not right with Chris and he is not himself. The doctor asks whether Chris's father is around and he also questions about the reality of the scar on her forehead. Sarah is searching for something in Chris's room. She finds a spot on the wall and installs a camera inside a cavity. Chris asks what she is doing but she dismisses him and leaves. She is suspicious about Chris. She observes Chris who is looking through the window. At night, Sarah takes her pills. Early in the morning Sarah completes mending the old wallpapers. Sarah tells Chris she loves him while he is eating breakfast. Chris slowly feels her face and reaches her scar. He then squeezes her wound and Sarah starts bleeding. Gasping for breath, Sarah suddenly wakes up from her dream. Sarah hears Chris singing. She goes down to Chris's room and listens to him sing. During a school program, Chris sings with a chorus. Sarah is watching him from the audience. Chris slows down when he is singing. He changes the song's lyrics when Sarah is seen alone in the audience. Sarah runs through the school corridor and finds every door locked. She hears a lady calling her name. Sarah is zoned out and in an emotionless voice tells the lady that Chris is not her son. The lady offers Sarah to go outside and get some fresh air when Chris arrives there and asks Sarah how his performance was. Sarah drives back from school. She looks startled. She is at Mr. Brady's and she offers to show him a recording of Chris. She suspects there was a similar problem with Mr. Brady's son and Mr. Brady in great anger throws the camera against the wall. Sarah picks up the broken camera and leaves. Back at home when she is trying to take out the card from the camera, Chris asks her why she ran away from school earlier. She makes an excuse for not feeling well and Chris tells her he doesn't like being left alone. Chris hugs Sarah and tells her he loves her. They sit for dinner together. Sarah talks about playing their favorite game and counts from 3 to 1 and waits for Chris to make a funny face but he doesn't. She tells him that he is not her son. Chris attacks her and throws her to the ground. They struggle. Sarah flies off the kitchen table. In the next scene a wounded Sarah wakes up. She has blurry visions with cuts all over her face. Chris digs a hole on the ground and drags her to it. He then buries her head into the hole. A tired Chris falls unconscious beside her. Few seconds later, Sarah gasps for air and takes her head out of the ground. Sarah drags the unconscious Chris to the house. She takes him to the basement. She picks up a broken car mirror and places it in front of Chris. He slowly wakes up. She asks him what he did with the real Chris. The boy then tries to choke Sarah but she throws him away. Chris's body shakes and he screams loudly. The sound is unbearable and Sarah closes her ears. Sarah runs to the large sinkhole in the forest. She is injured and bleeding. She looks at the center of the sinkhole and it's moving and gurgling slowly. Sarah suddenly starts sinking in the hole. The roots around her start closing on her. She then falls into the sinkhole and disappears. Sarah has a flashlight and tries to get up slowly. She is in a strange place. It's dark and there are long roots all over the place. Sarah soon finds a tunnel and looks inside of it. She crawls through the narrow muddy tunnel. She moves forward steadily with her flashlight showing the path. 
She reaches a scary place with a human skull. She hears something moving. She looks to her side and finds Chris lying on the ground. She hugs him when something starts gurgling. There are creatures that are covered in mud and are making strange noises. There are a lot of them. Sarah pulls Chris through the tunnel towards its entrance, but the creatures start following her. One of the creatures grabs her hand. She shines the light towards it and sees that the creature has turned into Sarah herself. Sarah is out of the sinkhole and she runs carrying Chris. She stops beneath a tree and tries to wake him up. Chris is awake and she hugs him. She rushes to her car but finds that the door is locked so she leaves Chris by its side, and runs towards the house. Inside the house, she finds the keys but as she is about to leave, she hears the voice of Chris calling Mummy from one of the rooms. She ignores the calls and leaves the house. Sarah carries Chris, stands near the car, and looks at the house which is now burning profusely. Dark dense smoke is rising into the sky. The house is scorching and smoldering. Sarah and Chris drive out of the town. Sarah is sobbing while Chris lays on the backseat. Some years later, Sarah is at a college taking classes, talking to her friends. Chris is riding a bicycle around her. Sarah looks at Chris through the window and clicks his photos and looks at them. She zooms in on the photo. Sarah's room is shown filled with mirrors of all shapes and sizes. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.